Hey guys, so my family recently took a trip to Virginia on the river. So I just wanted to share with you what I packed for vacation. So this is my makeup bag and I will go through in detail what I packed for this vacation. I tried to keep it fairly simple, fairly limited. So let's jump on in. So this is the makeup bag that I pack for vacation. I think it's called a doctor bag and I purchased it at Ulta a couple years ago. It has lots of elastics and zipper compartments for keeping things secure. The first thing I packed was my native deodorant. I love this one, the eucalyptus and mint. It smells amazing. It's definitely been my go-to recently. And then I picked this up at Bath and Body Works. It's a beautiful raspberry and coffee and vanilla scent. I love it. And then some things I just leave in here all the time, like this Real Techniques travel compartment and sponge. I also leave like makeup puffs and earplugs in my bag that I never really take out. So I have a little container to keep those organized as well. They're just handy to have on the go. Next up, we have all of my like foundation-y SPF products. I brought some that set down on their own without SPF, some that are just SPF. So this is what I packed, the More Pacific moisturizer with SPF, which doesn't have much coverage, but it has SPF. I brought the Yensa, which has decent coverage and decent SPF, and then the Joa, which is just foundation and no SPF. I just didn't know what I'd be doing each day, so I packed three options. Next up are the powders that I brought with me. Three different powders for three different situations. First up is the Wet n Wild 5-in-1, which is great for filling in pores. Next is the Essence 1, which is great for under the eyes and added coverage. And then the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Powder for when I want a beautiful glowy finish after I've put on any of those three foundation products. Next up are bronzers, and I tried to switch things out this trip, so it's not the same things as last vacation. These are the Hula bronzers. I like the glow for an all-over glow and toasted for more of like a sunburnt look. And then the Catrice Sungasm, because this is a gorgeous like reddish, pinkish, shimmery bronzer, and it's so flattering. Definitely gives you that shimmery, sun-kissed look, especially on the forehead. It is beautiful. Next up, we have blushes. I brought a cream blush. And a powder blush, this is the Clinique Pop Blush. It's just a beautiful, pinky, fresh-looking blush. And then this one from Melt, which is a cream blush. It's more of like an orangey brown, so it's beautiful for mimicking that like sun-kissed look on the cheeks and the forehead. So if I'm in the mood for a cream or more of like a sunny look, I'll use this one. If I just want like a pretty pink flush, I'll use the Clinique. And since we spent most of the time by the water, I kept it simple with shadows this time as opposed to my normal three, four, or five shadow palettes. This is the Kaja Shadow Trio. The top shade is a beautiful champagne green shimmer, and then we've got like a nice nudie brown and then a deeper brown to kind of intensify the crease or do liner or anything like that. So this is a great on-the-go option. This next item is another one that just lives in this bag. It's the Mary Kay setting spray, which I think is the same formula as the Scandinavia, but a fraction of the price. Great setting spray, highly recommend. Next we have concealers, and again, I tried to switch it out from what I brought on our last trip. So again, the peach concealer because I love it, and the LA Colors white one just to brighten, but this time I brought the Sephora and the Dose of Colors concealers. The Sephora one is beautiful. It's a perfect match for my cheeks. And then the Dose of Colors is great for brightening the under eyes. So I tried to switch it up this time. These are really nice options. Next up are brows. And I don't think this has changed since my last video in June or July. Same brow products I've been loving and using pretty much every day. The Physician's Formula Pencil and Butter Brow. And then the NYX Thick It Stick It Tinted Brow Gel. It's a great trio. Moving on to lip liners, I brought two of the ones that I've been loving. So the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, I think it's Pillow Talk and Medium. Then the Tower 28, like all-in-one pencil, which is great for eyes, lips, and cheeks, but I just use it for my lips. And then the newest discovery that I've been loving is this Dragon Beauty uh, Lip Job Liner, which is great for overdrawing and kind of contouring the lips. And it has a great sharp pencil because it is a wooden lip liner. And then for lipsticks, I was tempted to bring my beauty lipstick, which I love, but I decided to switch it up. I brought this Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. It's a beautiful shade, kind of goes with everything. And then I brought a Merit lipstick and a MAC lipstick. This one is a nice cool tone mauve shade with a little bit of sheen to it. No shimmer, just a little bit of like a glossiness to it. The Maybelline one is like a super gloss. 
And then the Merit one is more of like a matte finish. Um, beautiful options. They're all on like the pinky side, but that's kind of my go-to. It's kind of like a nudie pink lip over a brown liner or like a mauve pink liner. So those are my lipstick options for vacation. You can see here how the colors are all pretty similar, just slightly different finishes. And then I forgot to show you the other powder I packed from Jane Iredell. This is beautiful. It is a loose powder that comes with a brush and it also has SPF. So if I were to apply the Joa BB cream, which has no SPF in it, I could apply this on top to help set it and also provide SPF and sun protection. So I think this is a great travel option. And then knowing we'd be outside all week, I packed things that would not smudge and drip and flake. So I have the Sky High Mascara in waterproof for pool days, and then the Thrive Mascara, which is a tubing mascara, which will not come off even if you are sweating around the sun. I also packed a cream bronzer. This is like a tried and true oldie, but goodie. This is the Tyra Beauty Sculpt in the Stick. It is beautiful, and I ran through it during this trip, which is so sad. I don't think they make it anymore, but it is a beautiful, cool tone bronzer, and I just adore this formula and this shade. It is perfect for my skin tone. So there you have it. That is what was in my makeup travel bag for our trip to Virginia. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.